Hello, it's me and welcome back. And I've returned to respond to a question uh, that's been asked about using their mobile phone a bit more like a personal computer and if it's possible. Before we go any further, please click like, subscribe so that uh, I and YouTube can keep you informed of any new videos that are coming out on this channel in the near future. Brilliant. Right, got that out of the way. So what we're going to need, first thing we're going to need is we're going to need TV or monitor. Your choice, whatever you've got lying around would help. And we're also going to need to work out what kind of cable you're going to be plugging into that as well. Now with your mobile phone, we'll need to know what display port you've got on that. We'll look at that in a minute. But that will determine what type of display port you're going to be purchasing. Because chances are you probably haven't got what we need to connect the two together. So, okay, I'm going to use my uh, HP 27W monitor. Uh, it's one of my new monitors, I love that, and I'll demonstrate that. But what I've done is I looked at the back of that and just to check to see what sort of ports I've got, you've either got an HDMI, you may have a VGA, there are other types of ports as well. What are we doing next? Um, well, once we've got that HDMI or VGA decided, we need a cable for it. Now, I'm going to recommend HDMI because not only is it digital rather than analog, but it, it supports video and audio. So your mobile phone sound can go straight through your TV as well, which is fantastic. And of course, it's higher quality. So I'm going to go and I'm going to use my HDMI uh, for my example. But whatever you've got available, VGA or HDMI will do. There are, again, other display ports that you might have on your TV to so check for that. And in determining that, you'll need a male to male cable for that particular type of port so you need to get an HDMI cable or a VGA if you haven't got one you can get one for about between five ten pounds five ten dollars um, the, the higher the price obviously usually it's the, the, the better it's supposed to be but um, shop around now for the mobile phone and a tablet you can use your tablet as well there are so many different types of ports that are available so it'd be worth looking at your user guide and checking to see what type of ports you use for display output. Now in most cases it tends to be lightning or USB type C and I've got a USB type C. So have a look at that first. Uh, depending on your mobile phone, have a shop around but just as a small selection I've listed a couple of the devices. You can see lightning is very much the Apple product uh, and USB type C is all the others so it's kind of really your Android um, and Windows devices that you're going to be looking for. Now I've got a, in the description below I've got a link to both of the Lightning USB with a slightly more comprehensive list of the devices that support this. Okay so <clears throat> once you've got all your information I'm going to use and search for HDMI using my USB Type-C adapter and I'm going to search for a display port using my favorite online store in this case Amazon and I've been using Amazon recently in fact I've been using Amazon a lot more than I should be recently because of lockdown it just makes you a lot more bored but there we go that's what I've been using and in particular I'm going to be searching for my HDMI uh, USB Type-C in fact I actually already bought one this is the one I got it's the Kovi USB-C to HDMI adapter cost me around about £12 and is great. It does exactly what I want, as you'll see in a moment, and it's fantastic. But again, shop around for these because you'll need to get the appropriate adapter for the types of ports that you're interested in. Okay, so here it is. This is mine, this is my baby, and it's just got three different ports in there. This is what I like about this, is not only has it got the port for the HDMI uh, output, but it's got a port for the USB Type-C, so I can plug my mobile phone power charger cable into this so I can charge the mobile phone and I've also got an extra USB port there that I can use for uh, keyboard mouse I can even plug a flash drive into that and I can use the flash drive on my mobile phone which is fantastic so I'm now going to demonstrate how this works this is so simple it's brilliant give me give it a go now okay so I've got my mobile phone I've got a Huawei P30 Pro got my display port and I'm going to use this monitor here, which is plugged into my laptop. So I'm going to rip that uh, HDMI cable out. Plug that in there. It all goes well. 
that display should change to the John Day Q&A logo. So plug that in. Takes a couple of seconds for it to respond. That wasn't the response. That <laughs> was something else completely different. But when it's done, what happens is I get a touchpad on my screen. I even get some screen gestures uh, showing me how I can sort of work with the on-screen display. But there it is, and I can go in there and I can run all of my apps. And that includes things like Microsoft Teams, I can do Lens, Word, Excel, whatever I've got on the app I can use. It's fantastic. And if I just go in and just run an app of any kind in there, just to show you. So if I go to the bottom left corner of the screen, works like Windows. I've just got a little start button down the bottom left there to give it a click. All my apps come up on screen and I can plug um, and play any one of the apps I want including games um, but I can also if there's too many to look through you can just click and search for the actual app you want so I'm going to look for Zwift there it is and just give that a click and this is one of the reasons why I got the display port anyway for myself was that I can uh, plug in my mobile phone into our treadmill uh, or into our, we've got a little exercise bike um, and then we've got we can plug the phone into a big monitor and just keep track of ourselves on Swift this is quite cool actually if you've never seen Swift before it's a lovely little tool a little app that you can use for exercise and seeing as people have gone crazy on exercise bikes I think gyms are going to struggle when uh, they are reopen up in a few months time um, but I can go in there and just There you go. I can either run, cycle, or watch other people run and cycle, and that's kind of what Swift does. So any app, pretty much, that you've got on your phone works on here. Better still, um, seeing as I've got a spare USB port, and I don't want to be carrying and lugging this around all the time, what I'm going to do is I'm put that down. Probably best to... Close that down. I'm going to use a keyboard instead. So I've got a, a wireless keyboard. I'll just plug the wireless adapter the dongle into the port there. Which will work right around. Wingy wing goes on, and now I should be able to use the keyboard to control the mouse. The start button on the keyboard actually runs the start on there like it does on Windows. Uh, it's fantastic. I'm just going to go and run YouTube, Plex, whatever I want that I've got sitting in there, which is fantastic. So there you go. Uh, absolutely brilliant. I've got uh, a lovely, lovely tool. And just one more thing just to show you. I could use memory sticks. One of the things I recommend, if, you, if, if you're going to make this really portable, rather than going and getting that big chunky keyboard, get one of these tinny mini keyboards. These are out of tenner, and these are fantastic. They work in exactly the same way. And what you essentially do is just plug it in. And this one even comes with its own touchpad, which is very cool. So in the same way, I can go in there and control uh, my now laptop mobile phone, laptop PC with little mini keyboards, very cool. You can get ones lit, lit up keyboards as well, little glowing colours, but these are about a tenner, fantastic. There we go. So in response to the person that actually commented me about this and asking for this, uh, I'm just going to demonstrate this working with Teams. So I'm going to go into my mobile phone, click Microsoft Teams, there it is, give that a click, there you go, I'm now connected into Teams, I can go into any one of my Teams that I'm using, click a channel, I can then go into the actual posts there, no little comments, go to the files, I can even go and meet online and this is going to use my Wi-Fi and everything else as before. So it's got their video off. I'm going to do the video on. That's just basically my mobile phone video. 
mic is off mic is off uh, I'm not gonna not gonna turn the mic on because I'm gonna get feedback between the camera and the speaker and everything else so I'm gonna <laughs> be wise there but I've got the video on as you can see I can still see myself um, and this is fantastic and I don't know if you're aware but the Xbox we uh, I did a video on the Xbox and how to use the Xbox for teams well since Microsoft have disabled Internet Explorer and the original Microsoft Edge um, you can't use um, the Xbox for Teams meetings. Uh, it doesn't work anymore. It's switched off. Uh, it's just because they disabled the older technologies and sadly Xbox uses the old Microsoft Edge. It doesn't use the new Chromium one. So uh, <clears throat> as a replacement for that, if you've got a mobile phone, you can now work um, with this instead, which is a good replacement. And there you go, so your mobile phone turned into a portable PC and again all those little tools you got there, you can just carry them in a little bag and carry around with you and use them anywhere you like, it's absolutely fantastic. So there you go, um, if you want to spend a little bit more money, besides getting display adapters for those and other types of ports, you can easily get display docks and display docks are great because they provide a, a wider range of different devices you can plug in, including Ethernet cables so that you can actually connect to the internet via cable rather than using Wi-Fi. So whatever uh, takes your fancy, make your mobile phone really work for the pennies you spent on it. There we go. Please subscribe to my channel so I can keep you posted with updates uh, and any new videos that are coming out. Uh, I can also respond to questions uh, for your comments, but you can also add them to the Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, any of the social media listed there. I've got an email address you can plug me to as well, um, and you can contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Stay safe everyone and have fun.